Hey guys, it's Casera, and today I'm gonna to be doing my May TBR. So if you watched my April TBR, which I did back in March, I announced during the poll section that my theme for the month of May is gonna be YA, which I feel like couldn't have come at a better time because I've just been super stressed recently with everything that's going on and I've been working a lot more. So I just want some lighter, faster reads. I've been very much a mood reader recently because of that. And I feel like with YA, you can still be mood ready and have tons of options while all still being really fast paced and engaging. So I feel like this is a really good month to do that. Also, like all year round, I have been like not reading my YA picks. Like even if they're on my TBR, I've been like prioritizing my adult fantasy over my YA fantasy or just like other genres over just YA books in general. So I feel like this month I'm gonna try and be almost exclusively YA, at least my TBR will be. Don't worry, I still plan on reading some adult fantasy, like my fantasy book series challenge, for example, the majority of those are adult fantasy. So depending on what I pick, I will probably will be reading adult fantasy before that and I also plan on rolling over two books from my April TBR into May just because April was not working for me like I could not read long books in April so like I'm still currently reading one of the Memories of Ice by Stephen Erickson still reading it it's, it's a thick book and it is kind of difficult to read so it'll be a good difference between the YA books that I'm reading and then I also plan to continue on with Oathbringer as well. So I plan on reading both of those books in the month of May, even though like they were supposed to be for my April TBR. I do plan on finishing those in May. I also have one other book that I plan on rolling over from April to May. And that's Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I'm doing a reread of this series and I plan on continuing that even though I have other plans for May as well. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this video and we're going to start with my classic for the month. So I tried to look up like classic YA books. It turns out I've read a lot of them. The only one that I haven't read that I actually do really want to get to is The Giver by Lois Lowry. So this book I've seen the movie for but I haven't actually read the book but it's like sort of a utopian slash dystopian future in which kids or teenagers I guess are given their career path when they turn a certain age and our main character becomes the giver and that's really all I know like I saw the movie a long time ago but I've heard people love this book it's also the first book in a quartet but I've also heard that you should read it like a standalone so as of right now that's my plan to read it like a standalone but I'm really excited for this one like this is a book that people read like in high school for class which my school never did that but I kind of wish that we had read this in class and I'm excited to see what it's about because a lot of people seem to really love it. So for the YA book that I plan to reread in the month of May is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. It is just the perfect time to reread this book with the prequel book coming out in May. I haven't decided whether I'm going to read the entire series or not though I did buy the paperback copies in case I want to annotate them the way that I've been annotating the Harry Potter books. So like either I'll read the entire series and binge read it or I'll read just the first book but I'll annotate it and you'll get more content that way maybe I don't know I haven't decided yet but I will at least be rereading the first book The Hunger Games which I'm really excited about because The Hunger Games is probably my favorite book in the series and it's one of my favorite YA series so I'm really excited for this and along those same lines I do plan on picking up Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins which is the prequel to The Hunger Games series that's coming out it's following President Snow during childhood or early adolescence I don't know I don't know exactly what it's about but I'm excited for it like Susan Collins is one of those authors like anything that she releases I will buy and I will read so I'm really excited for it I literally just pre-ordered this book I'm a little scared that it won't show up on time just because Amazon recently with books has been like two weeks later it shows up my door instead of like a day later so we don't know but hopefully I can get it like on or around the release date and I'm really really excited for it okay so now I have some rollovers from previous TBRs where I just neglected to read the wild books that I put on my TBR I feel really bad about but like this is the perfect time to catch up with these books and the first one is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jake Kristoff I've been planning to read this book since like November of last year I think it's been on at least two TBRs 
and I just haven't gotten to it. I really enjoyed the first book. It surprised me a lot more than I was expecting to. So I'm excited to get to this one. I really like the format too, which is the multimedia format, which you guys probably know more about this book than I do because like this is a really popular book. I am excited to get to this one. I love a good hard sci-fi and the fact that it's YA makes me feel a little bit less intimidated going into it. So I'm excited to get to this one. And I do have the audiobook on hold at my library so that I can switch between the two because I've heard the audiobook is really good. Last time I read the physical book only with the first book in the series, Illuminae, but I'm going to experiment with the audiobook also so I can give you guys my opinion on whether the audiobook or the physical book is better. And the other rollover from previous TBRs is Air of Fire by Sarah J Mass. This is the third book in the Throne of Glass series, which I've been promising to read for you guys since like, I want to say October of last year. You guys voted for me to give the Throne of Glass series a second chance out of like five different series that I put on the poll and I did give it a second chance and I read Crown of Midnight and I actually like Crown of Midnight a lot more than I was expecting to. So I decided to continue on with the series and read Air of Fire, but I haven't gotten to it yet. So I will be getting to it in May and hopefully I'll end up liking this one. I've heard Air of Fire is one of the best books in the series. So I'm pretty excited for this. So the next book that I plan on picking up is The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. So this book is one that I bought recently. It was in my most recent haul and I had planned to read it in the month of April. I still might, there's still like a whole week left in April. So I still might pick it up before the end of April, but I probably won't finish it till May because this one is about time travel but it's like magical time travel which I love a good magical time travel book and I feel like they're really rare like for time travel books I feel like there's a lot of science technology based time travel but not a whole lot of magical based time travel and I like a good magical time travel book so I'm really excited for this I've heard really really good things about it I think Jade from Bedtime Bookworm really liked this book and I'm really excited to see if I'll like it too I've already bought the second book in the series so hopefully I will end up liking this because it's definitely the type of setup that I feel like I just binge read the entire series if I end up liking like the characters and the writing style and all of that so I'm pretty excited for this one. The next book I'm planning to get to in the month of May is Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. So this is a YA high fantasy series which I love a good high fantasy series. I've been meaning to pick this one up for a while like I bought this book back in 2018 but recently I hauled a bunch of other books from this series because Book Outlet was doing a sale and had a bunch of books from the series on Book Outlet so I was just like you know what I'm gonna do it so it's kind of motivated me to finally pick up this series and I'm really excited for it hopefully I'll end up liking it I don't know that much about it other than it's a YA high fantasy but I've heard really good things so I'm definitely gonna get to it in May and hopefully I'll end up loving it the next book that I'm planning on picking up is A Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson during my most recent haul I hauled the first three books from this series and you guys like responded to that really well like a bunch of people mentioned this in the comments which just motivated me to pick this up sooner so I'm pretty excited for this obviously there's a lot of YA fantasy on my TBR this month but I love a good YA fantasy especially if it's fast paced and this one seems to have a really good following so I'm excited to get to this one as well the next book I plan on picking up is The Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young so this one has been on my radar for a while and from what I understand it's classified as a YA fantasy but it doesn't really have too many fantastic elements to it it's a little bit more like a historical fiction just set in like your typical like high fantasy sort of world but with less fantasy I actually like that sometimes like I like a good like historical fiction especially when it's similar to like the fantasy worlds that I'm used to so I'm excited to see what this one is about also for some reason this one is giving me like nautical vibes to it I'm not sure why but that just makes me really excited because I like a good like nautical book as well. And not the last book on this TBR, but the last book that I'm getting to choose for this TBR is The Grace Year by Kim Liggett. And this book is one that has had a lot of hype this year and I picked it up because of the hype and just never got around to reading it. And I believe this is why I, hopefully it's why I, other ways <laughs> it shouldn't be on this TBR, but I've heard really, really good things about it. And it's kind of like a pseudo feminist literature sort of thing and it, there might be magical elements or like sci-fi elements to it I don't know I don't know that much about this book but a lot of people seem to really love it so I want to see what all the hype is about all right so now that we've gotten through all of that it's time for me to choose my books for my fantasy book series challenge so for those of you who haven't been following my channel this year my fantasy book series challenge is a challenge in which I put together like 24 fantasy series that I've been meaning to read for the longest while all in this little mug and every month I pick out two of them and I have to read the first book from that series and decide if I'm going to be continuing on with that series or not. So far this challenge has been really successful like I've managed to read the first book in all of these series through the month of 
March. I'm still working on April, so we'll see. You guys can find out in my April wrap up, but it's time to pick the books for May and I'm really, really excited to see what they're gonna be. I think my hair got caught on the, my hair is probably super messed up now. Let me go check that. Okay, I'm back. And this is why I never do videos with my hair up because it always gets caught on the bookshelf. Anyways, so this is the one that I got. It's the Raven Shadow series by Anthony Ryan. I'm really excited for this one. So the first book in this series is Blood Song by Anthony Ryan. Anthony Ryan is an author that I want to read more of. I've only read one novella by him, but I've heard great things about this author. He's a grimdark adult fantasy author and I'm really excited for it. I don't know anything about the series other than like everyone seems to love it. So. I'm really excited to get to this one. Like this is one that I had planned to read last year and never got around to it. So I'm glad that I got this like somewhat earlier in the year this year. And I get to pick one more. So this is the other one that I got, which is The Demon War Cycle by Peter V. Brett. So the first book in The Demon War Cycle is The Warded Man by Peter V. Brett. I don't know anything about this one other than like this has been on my radar for years. When I was in college, I was planning to read this book and just never got around to it. I have like, I want to say like the first three books in this series and I've heard really, really good things about it. So I'm pretty excited for this one as well. So I got some really great adult fantasy books from a fantasy book series challenge. Now it's time to do my unwrapped book challenge. So for those of you who don't know, every time I do an unhaul, there is usually at least a few books that I didn't even try to read that I'm considering unhauling. And if I still have an inkling that I may like this book sometime in the future, I add it to my wrapped books. So I wrap it up and I put it on a bookshelf and then every month I pick two of these unwrapped books to read during that month. If I do read them and then I get to keep them or I can choose to still unhaul them if I didn't like them. If I don't read them and then I have to unhaul them. So I picked out these two books. Yes, I decided to go with pink because I'm just feeling pink right now. So we'll get to see what these books are. Okay, this actually works out really well with my theme. So the first book is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. And I actually recently read a book by Tahara Mafi for the first time, which was furthermore, which is one of her middle grade books. And I really enjoyed it. I really liked the writing style that she had in that book. This one is a YA fantasy, I want to say. It might be science fiction. It might be like dystopian. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is, but I've heard that it's kind of like really romance based, which is not always my favorite. And I have tried to read this in the past and I DNF'd it, so I don't know. But recently I found that I really like Tahara Mafi's writing style, so I feel like I could potentially end up really liking this or just not liking it at all. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything about this book, but I'm excited to get to it. Like, it'll fit in with my month really well. And then we have one more. So we have Suspicion by Alexander Monnier. I don't know anything about this book. All I remember is that I got this book at the dollar store and I was just like, it's a book for a dollar and it looks intriguing. And then I was just like, yeah, I'm never gonna read this. But since I bought it, I'm gonna give it a chance. I don't know anything about it. If you read this book, let me know in the comments because I, I I literally know nothing about this book other than it looks like it might be YA. First trade paperback edition, except it's a hardcover. It's not paperback, so. Yeah, that's great. Good job, Random House. I mean, it's about a 17-year-old girl who runs away from her fan family in their English country manor after her parents' death. Which, I mean, sounds like historical fiction. Sort of maybe thriller? I don't know. Sounds intriguing, so we'll see. Okay, so the last thing we have to do before we finish this TBR is talk about my poll. So the winner of the poll for the book that I'm going to be reading in May, which is, of course, YA Books is Sabrielle by Garth Nix. I'm really excited for this. This is a series that I've been meaning to read for a while and quite recently, I think towards the end of last year, I hauled the entire series in one of my book hauls. So I'm really excited to get to this one. I've heard really good things about it. It's also one that doesn't necessarily read like YA, even though it is YA, which makes me excited for it. I'm so glad you guys picked this one. I didn't know if you guys would, cause there's a lot of other choices there that were fantasy for you guys, but you guys have done a fantastic job of picking my poll books in the past really well. So I'm excited that you guys picked this one as well. And hopefully I'll end up loving it. And now it's time to do my poll for the books that I'm going to be reading in June. So I don't have a theme for the month of June. 
June. So I decided to do authors that I've read only one book by and absolutely loved. So for these, I picked it off of books that I've read that I've really enjoyed that I've only read one book by these authors. And I rated these books at least four and a half stars or above. Then I picked other books by these authors that are really popular. And those are the books that you guys are going to vote on for me to read in June. So the first author on this list is Josie Silvers. And the book that you guys can vote for is One Day in December. So Josie Silvers is an adult romance author, sort of, but she has kind of like speculative fiction vibes to her books. So the book that I read by her that I really loved was The Two Lives of Lydia Bird, which actually came out last month. I absolutely loved it and I want to read more by her. And I've heard One Day in December is very similar in feel to The Two Lives of Lydia Bird. So you guys can definitely vote on that one if you guys want me to read it in June. The next author on this list is Lisa Wingate. And the book that you guys can choose is The Book of Lost Friends, obviously by Lisa Wingate. So the book that I read by Lisa Wingate that I really loved was Before We Were Yours, which is a historical fiction book about the Tennessee Children Home Society that kind of follows multiple perspectives. Kind of an interesting setup. And I really, really enjoyed the way that it was done. And The Book of Lost Friends is a recent release of Lisa Wingate's that seems to be getting a lot of attention right now. So I kind of want to see what it's about. So the next author on this list is Andy Weir. And the book that you guys can choose for me to read is Artemis by Andy Weir. So the book that I read by Andy Weir that I really loved was The Martian. So Andy Weir is a hard sci-fi author and he does kind of realistic sci-fi. So The Martian is about an astronaut who gets stranded on Mars and what he does to survive that experience because obviously Mars is not a habitable planet but the book is just absolutely hilarious and I loved it and I want to read more books by Andy Weir and his other book Artemis seems to have quite a bit of popularity as well. The next author on this list is Amar Tools and the book you guys can vote for is The Rules of Civility. So the book that I read by Amar Tools that I really loved was A Gentleman in Moscow. It's about an old man who's on house arrest in a hotel in Moscow and it doesn't seem like a particularly exciting tale but it was just so brilliantly written that I loved every second of it and I want to read more books by Amar Tolls. So The Rules of Civility is this other book that seems to have a lot of popularity as well and I want to see what it's about. And the last author on this list is Madeline Miller and the book that you guys can vote for is The Song of Achilles. So the book that I read by Madeline Miller that I really loved is Circe which is of course about the Greek goddess Circe. It's her story told from her perspective rather than told from the perspective of outsiders which the story is normally told by the outsider perspective. It's kind of more of a feminist, like historical fantasy literature. And I really, really enjoyed it. And the Song of Achilles also seems to be pretty popular. So you can definitely vote for that one as well. So that is all I have for you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these books because I would love to discuss with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I post videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So consider subscribing. I also post bonus videos if you want to be notified as soon as I upload, you can click that little bell icon. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. All social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.